Hey, good morning, everyone. Hey, good morning, Professor. Good morning. How are you? Hi, good morning, Zachariah. Good morning, Stephen. Good morning, Enzo. Was it Enzo? Good hey. morning, Professor. Hey, good morning. Uh, is it Sir or Sir? It's Sir. You got it right. Sir, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I got it, sir. Okay. Hi, good morning, Brianna. All righty. So um, um, I see uh, 10 people. And uh, let me quickly check um, in uh, how many people are in the forum. And I see, oh, well, actually, I see uh, more people uh, in the uh, collaborate than in the forum. So if you are, um, if you haven't, okay, I see now nine people. So if you haven't signed into the uh, uh, today's forum, please do it. Uh, please do so ASAP. Um, all right. So in uh, last class, in the last, uh, which was last Thursday, because this Tuesday we didn't have class. Um, I just realized, you know, later on uh, that I was disconnected. So I kept on going the whole time, but then I realized I was disconnected. So um, later, and then when I just, when I'm disconnected, when I was disconnected, I went back to the um, collaborate session, but it was already over. The session was already uh, closed, but then I, because I got disconnected, I didn't, uh, I didn't hit that stop recording button. And then what happened was then the, uh, the entire recording didn't get cut off. So it lasted for almost like seven hours. <laughs> but you know, of course, you know, after 50 minutes, after 50 minute point, then you know, there was no recording. But you know, without any recording, uh, the whole um, thing went for like seven hours. But you know, uh, you can you can check that from the um, you can check it from uh, course materials. If you go back to course materials and go into um, the topics folder at the and at the bottom, you see you know this is the uh, last Thursday's live session recording, uh, but you know, uh, it, it got, you know, at least, you know, um, it had everything we uh, discussed that day. Um, one more thing, I also posted um, uh, recently, I posted, I, I believe this Monday, uh, I posted, so let's see when it was posted first the Excel certification training. And some people were asking, probably they were referring to this. Uh, and I uh, definitely recommend this because not only uh, in relation to this class, but when, when you get the certificate, and usually, you know, you will, um, for the certificate, uh, exam, you have to pay like $100 to take that exam, but it's for free because the uh, college is sponsoring it. It's for free. So uh, uh, you can get the certificate and what, when you have the certificate, it will put you, uh, it will be an advantage definitely it's, uh, when you are uh, applying for a job. So I uh, strongly recommend this. And I uh, also set up the, uh, finally I set up the, uh, uh, the connect uh, site, right? So here's the link. Uh, all of these postings were also emailed out to you, right? Uh, it's automatically, they are all automatically getting emailed out when they get posted. Okay, so those are the latest. And also, don't forget tomorrow the uh, um, uh, the first diagnostic test. 
it starts tomorrow, right? Uh, so please don't forget that. All right. So, uh, Saurav, you have a question, right? Saurav, go ahead. Yeah, I had some network issues. For that reason, I logged in late. So just wanted to make sure you mark me present for today. Oh, well, as long as you are here, as long as you are in the forum, right? You are okay. present, right? Yeah, I didn't you see post there, so I'll do that. Do it ASAP because this is your sign-in sheet, right? Yeah. This is your sign-in sheet. And you know, if you're not here, I cannot mark you present. If you're here, you'll be marked present. That goes, you know, without saying. Okay. And you, right. you mentioned something about diagnostic test. So sorry, I was a little late. Could you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, uh, that was also in the uh, in the announcement, and that was also emailed out. Uh, see, ROI concept check, right? Self diagnostic. That was posted also on Monday, right? And it got emailed out, right? And of course. It's there. You can't just see it. It's there. It's going to be visible only, you know, um, from tomorrow, right? It's not visible, but it is there. Okay. All righty. So in our last class, we were talking about, you know, um, how to find the geometric average. Uh, but we did, you know, we did this. Uh, but it was only for scenario one. Okay, remember the uh, distinction between scenario one and scenario two. Right. So scenario one is the um, the case where uh, you buy the house and just use it as your home, right? Uh, and scenario two is you buy the house and use it as a rental property. And in scenario two, therefore, there will be two uh, types of cash flows. One, uh, the cash flow from capital gains, okay? Or capital loss, I mean, because capital gains can be you know, positive or negative. And then second, uh, uh, the rental income, cash flow from rental income. So in that case, uh, now, I gave you this formula, right, which is, you know, um, basically, you know, uh, uh, what did I put? No, I didn't do it here. I didn't put it here, but um, um, okay. I gave you this formula, right? Um, and this formula will be discussed uh, in more detail in topic two. At this point, you're not ready to um, understand how this formula is derived, right? But in topic two, it will be discussed again. Um, so we use this formula, right? Future value over present value, right? raised to one over n minus one and future value is basically uh the price at time t plus n right in our example 2016 house value right and a piece of t is the uh the initial right uh price initial investment initial price at time zero right by using that formula right uh but so this is that formula, right? But then um, this is this cannot be used when uh, this is only good for scenario one. Oops, this is only good for scenario one, but not not good for scenario two. Now again, uh, you might I also explained this. If you use arithmetic average, um, it's it's close, but it's still, you know, 1% um, dif difference is already very significant. This is not exactly 1%. This is like 0.7%. But um, over time, uh, it will result in a, a significant difference. 
right, over time, like, you know, uh, over a long term. Uh, so uh, arithmetic average or simple average is still overstating the true average. So we cannot use arithmetic average, right? We should use. Arithmetic average is only a, a, a approximation. But then, you know, uh, in terms of accuracy, uh, think about it. If you use arithmetic average and, you know, uh, try to uh, extrapolate uh, or forecast, forecast, um, like house value uh, 10 years later. I mean, uh, let's say currently uh, at the end of 2016, the house price, the house value was 500K. Let's say you want to uh, forecast uh, how much uh, the price will be in five years later. So 2021, how much, uh, and if you use this, right, uh, to make the forecast then, uh, it will be, there will be a lot of, you know, uh, 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 forecast error, right? Of course, all the forecasts are not, any forecast, right, cannot exactly nail it uh, because the actual may be different. But, you know, uh, uh, this will be more accurate rather than this because this, this is overstating, right? So now, in uh, under scenario two, how do you uh, find the, uh, how do you do the uh, 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 geometric average? And I said, you know, we cannot use that formula anymore. Then what do, what do we need to do? First, what we need to do is just like uh, this, this is what? The growth rate or the return uh, year by year, right? Year to year return. Uh, in scenario one. So we find year to year return in scenario two as well. So think about it. And for 2016, uh, the return, the capital gains plus return portion, which is the capital gains plus uh, cash flow, right? that's how much you, know, you gained uh, in 2006 over where the house price stood in 2015. Yeah. So in other words, the only difference with this is that in the numerator, in the numerator, we have also the rental income, right? So obviously compared to scenario one, you definitely have more return uh, in 2016. And then we drag it down. There you go. So every year, right? Uh, obviously, thanks to the uh, rental income, we have higher return. But then just between, look at, you know, uh, uh, these three years, which is, you know, between 2006 and 2008, end of 2008, right? End of, uh, then, these years, we didn't rent it out. For the first three years, we didn't rent it out. So there was no rental income. Then the result must be the same. So the results are the same. Okay. Now, uh, in this case, so everyone got the same result so far? Everyone got the same result? Hmm? Yes, Professor. Okay, good, good. And then... Um, Let's find the uh, simple average in the uh, just 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 for comparison, right? Just for com comparison. Not that we believe this is the right thing. Um, also, we don't need to do that again. We don't need to, uh, right? We can just simply drag it to the right. Okay. So if if the uh, arithmetic average overstates the uh, gen uh, geometric average, then we can already assumed the geometric average must be something smaller than this. Okay, so uh, I will use uh, X, Excel has, if you click on the function, once again, I don't, <laughs> this is too soon, but you know, I, I can't help it. Um, uh, until we get to a uh, Topic two, and the topic two is basically uh, uh, financial math, right? 
So until we get to topic two, uh, uh, I cannot really give you the, uh, 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 I can only give you the shortcut, but you know, uh, well, uh, what the heck, you know, we have, it's, uh, at least we have still like 40 minutes, I mean, 30 minutes. So before we do that, uh, let me, uh, let me do it mathematically. First, let's take a look at column I and column J. So what is column I? Column I is one plus G. So this is the, uh, um, basically the gross, gross uh, growth rate. Think about it. One plus G will give you 116% because one is, one is 100%, right? And that comes from, uh, so I will simply, you know, uh, do this and then drag it down. Okay. Uh, let me increase that small. Okay, that looks, it's exactly just this growth rate plus one, right? And then here, this is the product of product means, you know, it's this times th this times this times this times this is the uh, uh, string of whole, you know, uh, whole string of, you know, uh, uh, multiplication of these uh, cells, right? Uh, and so why do we need the product there? So let me take you uh, to... So if you go back to this slide, first of all, let's take a look at 2006 price. And 2006 price is basically 2005 price times one plus growth rate in year one. And that's it. Uh, and yeah, that's what it is. Look, uh, what is this? 2006 price. And this is 2000 price. This is the uh, growth or the capital gains between 2006 and 2005. And that growth rate is 20%, right? Because it's, you know, uh, 30K over 150K. So it's 20%. So think about it. We got uh, Two thousand six price is basically two thousand five price times um, the capital gains uh, plus capital gains. I'm sorry. Um, capital gains in two thousand six, but what is capital gain in 2006 anyone how how can we express capital gains in 2001 uh, 2006 hmm? what is another way of expressing capital gains in 2006 isn't it 2005 house price times growth rate in year 1 isn't it right? Any questions so far? Everyone is everyone is following. Is everyone following? Yes. Okay. Good. Good. Yes, so. Uh, okay. Good. Good. Uh, good. So then think about it. What is? This is two thousand five. What is growth rate in year one? Growth rate in year one is 20%. Isn't that right? 20%. That's what the data was, right? Yes, Professor. 20% mm -hmm. of, you know, so um, 
that that's that makes it you know uh, basically that makes it 30k right but then think about it um, rewriting uh, if I keep rewriting like so this we have you know uh, look at this when we have an expression like this um, that's not mathematically smart or uh, efficient why because the same term is being you know uh, same term is being repeated and math doesn't like redundancy actually you know uh, there is math hates redundancy right <laughs> math doesn't like why because it's not efficient if anything redundant is not re uh, efficient so what do you do uh, when there is a common factor being repeated right uh, you must factor out the common factor so if you factor out the common if you factor out the common factor then it becomes right uh, you factor out to uh, p2005 and this thing uh, this term that becomes one because you factored it out right and this term Oops. The second term, uh, you factor it out, uh, and then you have only G1 left. Okay? So this is what it is. And then if you redistribute it or multiply it back, re redistribute or multiply it back, it becomes, you know, it goes back to this. That's why there are uh, so many equal signs. Equal, and then that's what 2006 house price is right that's that's why we express 2000 house price this way okay now then uh 2007 house price take a look at the 2000 we can express 2007 price the same way as 2006 house price times one plus g2 the growth rate in the second year but then we can 2000 what's the definition of 2006 price hmm? we have already defined 2006 price didn't we we already defined 2000 oops what happened we have already defined 2006 price anyone this is the time to earn extra point. Anyone? Now, when I say, you know, uh, uh, the definition, right? What is the definition of 2005 price? Uh, I'm always talking about the mathematical definition. I'm, I don't talk, I never, I never talk about any verbal definition. So is what is the definition of 2006 house price? house price we already defined it what's is the it, definition is it pt uh one plus g yeah 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 it's uh you're right but you know pt uh t should be more specific here um t was the year 2005 yeah yeah yeah, yeah. so it's you're you're basically so that t what is the uh, what is the it's, year? It's time. I know, I know, but you know, <laughs> you, said PT, P, you said PT times one plus G one, right? But then, yeah. what is the specific T here? What is the specific? What is the specific time of that T in that uh, in that formula? Two thousand six. No, no, two thousand five. Oh, yeah, that's what I said. We're, ta we're, we're talking about definition of. 2006 price and the definition of 2006 price is 2005 price times one plus g1 right oh okay okay this? i see i see this yeah. is uh, lewis. who was this lewis lewis yeah so okay. professor mm -hmm. so for 2005 uh, the definition mm -hmm. is going to be p2004 
um, right, right, plus, right. Yeah, right. One 2000, G1. Definition, then the definition of 2005 price is then uh, 2004 price times one plus G, G1. whatever. No, G, no, no, no. no. Yeah, G2000, then that would be G2005. Because, mm -hmm. but first of all, we didn't own the house in 2005, remember? We bought the house only at the end of 2000. Five. So we, the house wasn't in our holding, right? We didn't have, hold the house in 2005. Yes. Okay. Our timeline starts only from the end of 2005, which is the same thing as the beginning of 2006. And that, so our timeline T0 is end of 2005 or beginning of 2006. So uh, we don't, but if we had the house in 2005 as well, right, then 2005 price would be defined as uh, 2004 price times 1 plus G 2004. But again, <clears throat> so uh, Louis, you got, uh, let me, uh, let me. Uh, what's, what's happening here? So Luis Limas, right? Yes. Okay, Luis, you got 0 0.5. So today is... Um, Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah. Um, section, this is 1101, right? All right. Yeah. So uh, now you understand uh, this expression, right? So 2007 can be expressed this way, but then again, because we know 2006 price uh, can be replaced by its own definition. So definition of 2006 house price is this, P2005 price times one plus G. So we simply replaced, we simply replaced this, 2006 price by its own definition and if we keep go if we keep on going we get to 2006 house price which is the uh, uh, which can be defined as 2015 price times 1 plus G11 growth rate in the 11th year and then we can rewrite 2015 price by its own definition and which will lead to right? The whole string, which will which will you know take us back to 2005 house price times one plus growth rate in year one times one plus growth rate in year two and so on all the way to one plus uh, growth rate in year eleven, right? That's you know uh, the definition of uh, and this is uh, this explains I mean if we generalize that. If we, uh, we have time subscript here because we have specific uh, timeline, but if we generalize it, we can write it like this. If we generalize it, um, price at time T plus N is price at time T times one plus G1 times one plus G2 all the way to one plus GN, right? So that's what this, that's what this is. Okay, you understand? This is, that's what this is. It is um, all the growth rates, growth rate in year one, growth rate one plus, growth rate in year one, one plus G2, one plus G3, all the way to one plus G11. And that's, that is exactly uh, this part. Okay. Does that make sense? Does that make sense? Yes. Anyone? Okay, good, good. Yes, so that's why we, okay, so that's why we have the product there, right? That's why we have uh, product. Now, and here, uh, uh, so when we use one plus G, right, then uh, mathematically, uh, uh, 
we write it like this. I mean, mathematically, this is the, um, you see, this is Greek character pi. Uh, you already know some, right? Greek character pi is, you know, that's the uppercase. That's the uppercase, right? We know this. Uh, you know, this is sum, right? You're summing up you now like x, i, uh, i running from 1 through n. Now, the the sigma is uppercase, right? Lowercase sigma is like this, okay? Just like that, also the uppercase, and uh, we know uh, sigma, that's sum. You're summing up all the x, right? x1, x2, x3, all the way to xn. Uh, this is pi, and pi is Roman alphabet p. So that means instead of sum, this is product, right? Also lowercase. So this means uh, uh, multiplying, multiplying every x, x i's, you know? Uh, so x one times x two times x three times x all the way to x n. And the lowercase, of course, you know lowercase pi. This is lowercase pi, right? Let me write it better. Uh, lowercase pi. This is uppercase. So uh, <clears throat> uppercase pi means, you know, uh, uh, multiplying everything. So here, that's why we have, uh, what we have here is this. And then if we use, uh, if we use 1 plus g, uh, then we'll have to take um, uh, we'll have to take 1 over n, right? Uh, it must be raised to 1 over n. The whole product must be raised to 1 over n, and then minus 1, subtract 1, uh, because we want only the net, not the gross uh, return, but only the net. So uh, we subtract 1, and we find g. So here, um, I did that, and then I I, I got something is uh, it should be eleven. I yeah eleven one. Something was like, uh, I don't know. Oh, oh, no wonder. I didn't do anything here. Okay. So then you should get exactly, yeah, the same number. Right? It's the same number. And this, this is the product of, you know, um, everything. Product of that. And if you think about it, yeah, this is 1 plus one plus holding period return. In other words, the holding period return was 233%, right? And then uh, one plus 233% is 3.333. And think about it. If you use exactly the... 2005 house price times this, what do you expect? It's going to exactly, what do you, uh, the mouse is there. Okay. If you do that, you get exactly, uh, uh, not this shouldn't be in percentages, not dollars, right? That means what? That's, that will exactly replicate, right? That will exactly replicate our 2016 house price, right? So, um, any questions so far? Any questions? Any questions? 
So now, uh, nah, wait, I got one, I got one, I got one. Okay, now then, uh, what about the uh, geometric average in uh, scenario two? Now we do the same thing. We'll use, you know, one plus R. So here, uh, one, you know, what I can do is I can simply drag this to the right. I'll do one, I can do one plus R or I can uh, just copy this, drag it to the right. Yeah, because it's going to be, you know, uh, pointing to this column G now, and then you drag it down. Now that's, you know, uh, the, the product of all this. Using that, uh, I did, you know, basically, you know, the product, this is the product of all of that product raised to one over n minus one. So I got 16.34%. Now, let's check. I mean, if we use Excel's uh, geo mean function, Excel has geo mean function. So let's go to our financial and geo mean means literally geometric average. You might think, you know, do we need to know all of that? Uh, no, we just need to know whatever we only need to know. I didn't know this. I just, you know, because I didn't, I learned Excel as I used it, right? So here, I don't see in on the financial, I don't see any geo means. So statistical, go to statistical. Uh, and then here, you will see. Geo mean. Okay, here. There's geo mean, right? Hit OK. And then it, you'll need to use uh, this string of data, right? G, J2 through J12. Hit OK. And then it gives you 1.1634. Okay. And then you must subtract one because this is gross. Gross, this is gross return, not the net return. So we must subtract one from it, just like, and we got the same result, right? Everyone is okay with that? Any questions? Uh, Everyone got the same result? Let me turn it into a formula view. Look, um, so once again, uh, some people, there's no need to panic about Excel. Uh, it's just like driving a car. In other words, when you, now, you can drive without knowing everything about the car, right? It's not, um, in other words, what I'm saying is, uh, you only, to drive a car, you only need to know what you need to know. In other words, you don't need to know uh, the entire mechanical engineering for making, uh, for building a car. Okay, I would like, um, you don't need to know, uh, in other words, yeah, to be 100%, to master the car 100%, first, you need to know the uh, mechanical engineering and how uh, the car is built. And you need to also understand the electrical engineering aspect of the car. You need to also know the, uh, 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 the, fuel, uh, the fuel system. You need to also know, you know, so in other words, you cannot become the master of uh, uh, car making, right? And it's not required to drive a car. I mean, when you, of course it helps. If you know how to change the oil yourself, it's good, wonderful, it helps. But how many of you actually change oil yourself? I mean, if I have to, I will. And you, it will be good. I mean, it's very uh, necessary and uh, 
uh, to you know change the tire. I mean, if you can change the tire, good. But you know, uh, but other than that, you know, um, uh, uh, yeah, you can change the battery. But you know, how many of you actually do that? If something goes wrong, you take it to the mechanic, and but still, uh, you can drive the car without knowing how to change the battery or knowing how to change the oil. Or, not, I mean, it helps. But, you know, you don't need to, uh, uh, you can still drive drive the car without knowing how to fix when something goes wrong with the fuel system. Oh, you don't need to know uh, how to fix the, uh, uh, the wiring, electrical uh, system. Um, but, you know, without mastering all of that, you can still drive the car. So um, we only need to, uh, when we use Excel, we only need to know uh, uh, what you need is actually the logic. If you have the logic, uh, if you understand the logic, it, you only implement the logic. This is all logic. It's not, you think it's a formula. No, it's not formula. It's just, just very basic math. You're just dividing something by something. But what lies behind it is the logic, right? Of course, some basic, some basic, you know, uh, 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 basic commands you need to know. But I'm, I'm teaching you that. Before I teach you that, you don't. Before I taught you this, you didn't even know this. But when I taught you this. You learn this. That's what you know. Learning is right. You watch what's going on. That you know. That's what's being displayed. What's what's being you know um, uh, demonstrated. You watch it and you follow it. You emulate it. That's learning, basically, right? And I explained to you what these you know uh, do what product command is, what products do, uh, right? What geo, man, uh, what geo mean does. Uh, so as you, you know, watch what's being demonstrated and you emulate it, you, uh, you know, try it out yourself, you emulate it and uh, you get it right. And that's how you learn, okay? All right, uh, any questions so far, any questions? So everyone got the same result, right? Everyone got the same result. Uh, somebody dropped something in the uh, chat box, I believe. Um, Hello. Yeah, yeah. Hi, who is this? Oh, it is Louis. The, the biggest Louis, thing, yeah, yeah. The biggest thing confusing yeah. me is the equations. Like, I do not understand the equations at all. Okay, which equation you don't understand? Which one? Uh, like, what does n like? So, like in this this long one right here, down. Uh, give me the cell number. Um, give me the cell number. It's the one with Which pi. One? Oh, uh, oh, yeah. The product. Right, right. So, what does I n stand for? This means, yeah. This means, this means multiplying, multiplying. You got to multiply all, all of them, right? Yeah, all of them. So but that is the ge generic notation of this. So in other words, so 2016 house price is basically the result of 2005 house price times one plus growth rate in year one times one plus growth rate in year two, right? Yeah. Times one plus G3 times so one plus G4 and, you know, uh, all the way to times one plus G11. But expressing it this way, I mean, it will be very tedious. And I mean, what if n was not just 11? What if, what if n was, you know, uh, 67? Oh, so, I mean, you, so n you cannot write the year? It, yeah. you, you cannot write it. You cannot write it like this because it's going to be very long and lengthy and tedious. I understand so, that part. 
I'm, mm-hmm. I'm talking about the variable n. What does it stand for? n is n is you know any number. n is any number, right? So n in our example, n is eleven, right? Because it's in the eleventh year. N is, hmm? Because it's the eleventh year. Yeah, we have eleven. Oh, okay, so n whole, stands for the uh, year. Yes, in our okay, example, okay, but okay. In, in general, in general, n represents any number. Yeah, I understand n, that part. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, I just and in our example, yeah. in our example, our holding period was eleven years. So n, that's why n was eleven, right? Now by, and then because you know we cannot, if n is like hundred and something, we cannot do it like we cannot do it like this. We cannot do it like I this. So we need I a compact. That. We need a compact expression, right? All righty. So any other questions? Any other questions? Okay. All right. So if you don't have any further questions, um, uh, I'll have to uh, uh, I'll have to call it a day. Let's call it a day, and uh, we'll see you guys uh, on Monday. Have a great afternoon. And uh, see you on Monday. Class on Monday. Okay. Yo, you mean Tuesday? Yeah. It's Tuesday. Oh yeah, yeah. Tuesday. Monday. I'm sorry. Tuesday. <laughs> Tuesday. Tuesday. Right. Tuesday. Hi, All right. Have a great day. Bye. Yeah. Bye. Bye. You too. Have a great day. Have, have a great day. Bye. All right. All righty. So I'll stop re- uh, sharing. Stop recording. And have a good day, brother. Stop- all right, take care, everyone. Don't forget, don't forget about the uh, the self-diagnostic test, right? Okay.